what are the implicants uh, we have already done the k map of the three variables and in that we did the groupings okay the groupings of one and that group is called as the implicants so the group of ones is called as implicants okay and for example if i'm having a group of a single one because uh, we have uh, already seen that uh, when there is a uh, one which cannot be combined with other ones in any way then we just combine it alone and write it in our function so it can be a group of single one or two ones four ones eight ones or sixteen ones depends upon the variables okay etc so the group of one is called as the implicants now the next thing is your prime implicant prime implicants okay so what is the prime implicant it is actually the largest possible group of a one okay so it is the largest possible group of one and uh, there's nothing more to explain in this we will see one example in which we will find out the prime implicants and also the essential prime implicant essential prime implicants okay so it is actually the group of one in which in which it is actually the group of one and it is also the largest because it is prime implicant but in this at least at least there is single one single one which cannot be combined in any other way okay so let's revise these three things what is implicant implicant is actually the group of ones okay it is, there may be a single one or two ones four ones eight ones sixteen one etc what is the prime implicants implicants mean it is the group of one and prime means it is the largest possible group of one okay now what is the essential prime implicant we are having prime implicant which is the largest possible group of one but in that largest possible group of one there is at least okay there is at least a single one there is at least a single one which cannot be combined in any other way if there is a one which cannot be combined in the other way and it is in the prime implicant the group of the prime group of ones then it is called as the essential prime implicant okay we will see one example which makes these things much more easy for you to understand so let's move to our example in this a k map is given and uh, this k map is actually for four variables and uh, when you are having the four variables you know 16 cells are involved so we'll make the 16 cells this might be the first example of the 16 cells till now but if you know how to draw the k map for 8 cells you can easily draw the k map for the 16 cells the variables are a b c d so we'll write the variables a b c d a b is what 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 c d is 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 simple and uh, the ones are already filled in this k map in this way okay now the question is to find out the 
essential prime implicant and the prime implicants or you can say that the non essential prime implicants if there is a one if there is not a single one in the prime implicant which cannot be combined in another way then it's not a essential prime implicant called as the non essential prime implicant and the groupings are in this way we will combine the this two first then this two and at last this two let's give it name one this as two this as three okay now you already know the definition of the essential prime implicant and the non essential prime implicant the question is to just tell me that out of this one two and three which are the essential prime implicants and which are the non essential prime implicants okay you can pause the video and just think about it take your answer and then replay the video okay so i hope you are done so let's see about about this first group of one it is definitely the prime implicant why it is prime implicant because it is the largest possible group of one you cannot make any other group of ones larger than this for example if i was having two ones here okay and i just made the group of this two ones then definitely it is not the prime implicant it is just the implement implicant why because i can make the go group of this four ones this is the largest not this two but there is no one at this two positions so it is your prime implicant now we will see whether it is essential or not this one can also be combined with this one in this way okay so this is not the essential one for this group but this one cannot be combined in any other way than this way there is no one here no no one here and no one here so it cannot be combined in this way either this way or or in this way okay i think it's clear to you so this one cannot be combined in any other way this makes the one as your essential prime implicant api okay now let's see for the second group of one this is also the prime implicant because it is the largest possible group here but it is not an essential prime implicant why because this one can easily be combined in this way and this one can easily be combined in this way so there is not a single one in this group of one that can be combined sorry what was i saying uh, yeah there is not a single one in this group of one which can not be combined in any other way other than this way we have seen this one can be combined in this way and this one can be combined in this way so it is not an essential prime implicant it is not essential prime implicant now we will see for the third group of one this is also the prime implicant because it is the largest possible group of one and uh, this one can easily be combined like this but this one cannot be combined in any other way which makes it the essential prime implicant so this is how you have to find out the essential prime implicant and the non essential prime implicant first of all you have to see for the prime implicant whether it is a prime implicant and or not we have seen the example here if i was having two ones here then this group of one is not an essential prime implicant it's just a implicant so this is all about this lecture we have studied three things in it the implicants prime implicant essential prime implicants and the opposite of essential prime implicant is non essential prime implicant so this is all for this presentation in the next presentation we will see some more examples of the four variable kmap